The Warthog run in Halo 3 is probably the most iconic moment of the original trilogy. It's at the very end of the game, the absolute climax, and is so exciting to play even today. And GameStop, you know, they've been stocking a pretty reasonable amount of Halo stuff. I found some really dope deals on there in the past, especially Black Friday, and you would not believe my eyes when I saw this set. You know, I've known about this for a while, there has been a lot of rumors, but we finally see it in all of its pre-order glory, the Halo 3 Warthog run from Jazzware World of Halo. This is the three and three quarter inch line, and it's so iconic, it's so faithful to the original game. I'm so hyped to bag this, let me tell you. Look, those figures look so iconic. Yes, the Jazzware World of Halo three and three quarter line is not as detailed, but this is a really cool set. And for the price, I would definitely recommend you picking it up. Just look at that packaging, man. So iconic. Celebrating 20 years of incredible Halo action, gun the Warthog's engines and relive the iconic Warthog run from Halo 3 with Master Chief and Arbiter. Appearing as they do in Halo 3, they come equipped with the always reliable assault rifle and plasma carbine ready for action. This World of Halo vehicle set is perfect for the Halo fan and collector in your life, no matter how young, old or new to the franchise they might be. That's a really awesome description because you know there are going to be some people that are just playing Halo for the very first time with Infinite and then they get into Halo 3. Can you imagine that? So cool. This is the cheap price of $39.99 and look at that expected release date. The 17th of the 1st, 117. Oh my goodness. So this is the packaging for the Warthog Run. You can see that really iconic 20 year logo and the figures are sort of positioned in the perfect way. It kind of disappoints me that the background is Halo Infinite. That seems a little silly. Like we could have easily just had the exploding tiles with with the figures in the front, but then you see the back of the packaging and it makes up for that because this is just a screenshot from in-game. You can't get more iconic than that. It has the Master Chief and Arbiter gunning through the exploding ring. I just, I remember, especially with lasso achievements, playing that with the boys back when Halo 3 came out. It's some of my most cherished memories with Halo. So to see that this is being redesigned and brought back in, especially by Jazzware, who have just been crushing the competition recently. This is the Master Chief as you would find him in Halo 3 gold visor and all. That assault rifle looks really great. It's got some light details just uh, sort of covered by his hand but you can see them. The whole armor just screams Halo 3 but even more so is the Arbiter. <laughs> He looks so fantastic. Yes, you, you can tell that this is only a three and three quarter inch, like a slightly lower quality figure, but I still respect the light and dark blues on his sort of jumpsuit underneath his armor. His toes are absolutely enormous, and he has some good details on his face too. It would be easy to compare this to the McFarlane figure. Yes, this is the original Halo 3 McFarlane, and it does look higher quality, but it was a lot more money. And you can also compare it to the McFarlane PVC statue that they made. But again, these are on a different price scale. The world of Halo is more affordable and I always want it to be like that. You know, I spend enough money on mega constructs. So my three and three quarter inch figures, I want to be at an affordable price point and preferably in a warthog. <laughs> like, look at that. Look at the way the Arbiter is like one handing that chain gun. It's so great. Like, I'm a big fan of this warthog. It's in like the original lime green, which I really appreciate. And yes, we have also got a warthog run in the past. This is the mega constructs. Constructs version strangely came with hunters when it should have really come with, you know, flood hunters. This was a really iconic set at the time as well. I'm using iconic a lot in this video because this stuff is iconic. So is the Jazzware Warthog we've seen before with the Infinite Chief, but you can see the color is much different on the new Jazzware Warthog on the right. I much, much prefer that lighter green than military green, you know? So let me know in the comments down below, guys. Are you looking forward to this Warthog? Are you going to pre order it from GameStop now? I most definitely am, like, this is something I need in my collection. It's rare that toy companies go back in time. They usually just focus on the current game, but this is something really awesome for the 20th anniversary. Let me know what your personal experiences are of playing the Warthog Run with your friends, and as always, stick it with the domain for all your Halo toy news.
make it. It's been an honor serving with you, John. <laughs>